Hi guys, I'm Dr. Tanya. I'm also known as Dr. Cutris. I'm here to talk to you about contraception. So let's talk a little bit about the barrier methods. The most common barrier method you probably all would have seen somewhere is this. This is a condom. This is the government, uh, the free government condoms that come in. No, actually they're not free. They cost like 35p or something. So it says lubricated condom for a single use. Now the advantages of using things like condoms, whether be it internal or be it external, which is more commonly known as a male or female condom. This was a male condom, so it goes over the penis. There are quite a lot of advantages. <laughs> the first being that it's very, very cheap. Like I mentioned, it costs 25 or 35p. More on top of this is that they're very easy to use. Cheap, easy to use. They have no hormonal effects. They also also have a huge advantage that they protect you from sexually transmitted infections. Sounds quite wonderful, right? Condoms are very readily available and are used by many, many people. But there are a lot of questions that come in with condoms. The first being that how successful is condom use? A lot of people do worry about condoms breaking, particularly after the episode in Friends where Ross and Rachel used a condom and still made baby Emma. <laughs> The thing with condoms is that there are two kinds of ways you can use condoms. You can either use them perfectly or you can use them in the typical way. With perfect use, condoms only have a 2% failure rate. I'm talking about the external condoms here. And with typical use, they have a 16% rate of failure. So it's not entirely foolproof. What you have to remember is that there are many, many ways you can mess up using a condom. How are the ways you can mess them up? Let's talk about the frequently asked questions. So a lot of people do ask if it's better to use two condoms at once to really, really prevent the pregnancy. And that's not a good idea because when you use two condoms at once, you risk the condom rolling off and sort of getting balled up together. Aside from this, the condom can also have tears in it. The most important thing to remember with a condom is that they are single use. So you should never reuse a condom. Aside from this, a lot of people are concerned about allergies when using condoms. And the way to prevent allergies is that if you're already allergic to latex, this is what most condoms are made of, you can get latex-free condoms. These are commonly available at the market and if you have trouble finding them, you can look them up online and find them quite easily. The next most interesting question that I do get about condoms is that why are condoms flavored? It doesn't make sense. There are no taste buds in the vagina. There are no taste buds in the penis. There are no taste buds in the anus. So why are they flavored? The reason why condoms are flavored is because condoms are also very important for use during oral sex. Now this may come as a surprise to you, but oral sex is a very good way of transmitting sexually transmitted infections. And the best way to prevent them is to use condoms when having oral sex. And this is the reason why condoms are flavored. I hope you found this useful and I hope I was able to answer some of your questions. If you do have more questions, please drop them down in the comments box below and I will try and answer them for you. Choose your contraception wisely. This is Dr. Tanea aka Dr. Cutris signing off. See you.